So, here is Termville. This map is useless. Last murder case was really exhausting. I hope I'll get some rest. Let's find this cabin I rented. You are Alicia Griffith? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm Horace Williams, the sheriff of this town. Can we have a talk, please? Yes, of course. Have I done something wrong? No, no, not at all. Can we uh, talk inside the cabin? Here, I'll help you with your baggage. Oh, thanks. If you are all settled in, I hope we can talk. Yes, but first I'm curious. How do you know who I am? In Termville, rumors travel fast. And when a detector from a big city rents a cabin near the lake, it's just a matter of time before the sheriff finds out about it. I see. How can I help you? A few days ago, a murder took place in a cabin like this one. A rather weird and brutal murder. In this peaceful town? I take it you don't have much experience with murder cases. In my entire career as a sheriff, I've only seen a couple of murders, both domestic brawls. Any help would be welcome. I'll do my best to help you. Thank you. When you're ready, meet me near the cabin where the murder took place. I'll leave the case file here for you to look at. I'm not carrying this file around. I need my notebook to write down important notes from the file. I need to assemble my dictaphone. Where are the batteries and cassettes? This should help me find my way around here. Part of a broken screwdriver. The lock is broken. How will I open it now? Not much inside. Great. It seems to fit tightly.
Great. Now if I get stuck, I should be able to find a solution in one of my previous cases. Can you tell me anything more about the murder? All I know is in the case file I gave you. As you know, the body was laid down on the floor after the death. You'll see the location. Was anything moved from the cabin? Except for the body, no. Interestingly, you will notice two weird figurines in the room. The cabin owner said they hadn't been there when she rented it. Do we know anything more about the victim, Melissa Darling? Except she was a writer and rented a cabin here. Nothing relevant to this case. Did she go out in town? And if so, where? Hmm, interesting question. As far as I know, she spent most of her time in the cabin. People saw her stroll through the woods, and yes, she was seen once or twice in the library in town. I guess she was working on a book. Could be. If you don't have any more questions, I'll leave you to investigate the area. If you find anything, I'll be in my office in town. This bush looks somewhat weird. Fresh mound. I can't dig with a broken shovel. Locked. The center of the room was cleared before the murder. The sun really shines on this spot. The handle on this broom is only being held by this loose rope. The handle on this broom is only being held by this loose rope. Interesting figurine. It should be placed on a lighted area to be charged. It's charging quickly here. What should I charge with electricity now? A warrior figurine. Thick transparent liquid. An old warrior figurine. Seems out of place on this table. Scrabble. I can't make out what it says. It is locked. The 
shovel is usable now. Someone has buried Melissa's wallet, too. Some elements from the chest are missing. A UV light bulb. This camera is low on power. Nice. Just a pair of pliers inside. It seems she was using special ink. The murderer had painted those signs before the body was placed on the floor. Those signs could be a clue. Those markings made by invisible paint must mean something. There is an outline of a body in a pose similar to the victim's. The sign of a heart must have some significance. It could indicate the location underneath the body.
nail. After the murder, the killer buried this chest. Inside, there is a murder weapon, a cup with the victim's blood and some dirt.